I'd just like to provide a short intro into using oil pastels. So this art media consists of pigment that's mixed in with a non-drying oil and waxed binder. If you've worked perhaps in art foundations with chalk pastels, oil pastels are a bit different in that they are less powdery. Um, and as a result, they're a little bit harder to blend, but some benefits of working with oil pastels is that they're generally considered more permanent than chalk pastels. They're more vibrant, and as a result of being less powdery, um, you don't have to kind of blow onto your paper, so there's not as many particles in the air, so they're less of a health risk. Oil pastels are obviously quite different than using oil paint, uh, particularly because the color can't be mixed on a paint palette like paint. So you have to keep that in mind and it becomes extra important when working with oil pastels that you make a well-informed color selection when you're deciding which pastel to use for which which area of your of your drawing. So what I'd like to do and show you is how to create this first pastel project which is to create a color chart. And with this you're essentially going to take inventory of all of the different colors you have. So the very first step is to number your pastels. So you want to get out all of the, the pastel sticks from your case and then, you know, kind of arrange them chromatically. So I've done this here with this set of pastels. So you can see uh, they just kind of go from red to orange to yellow to green to blue. So the order of the rainbow and then I had the neutrals and grays on the other other areas. So this just makes it easier when you do make a drawing that you can find the color that you're looking for. And then you'll take one stick at a time and I would recommend using a piece of masking tape if you have it. Um, but wrap the pastel with the masking tape and then just write down a number. So you want to start with one and move up. So here, you know, I've labeled this as one. Everybody has around 19 to 24 different pastels. So you'll go however, depending on however many pastels you have, that'll be your end number. So this is number one, and then I'll go to a red orange. Okay, so that's number two. Once you have all of your pastels labeled, numbered, then you're ready to go onto your chart and you're just doing this on a piece of sketchbook paper. So start with red and you'll just create a color swatch. So it's about one by two inches, one by one inches, just so you can get a sense of what the color looks like. And then either above or below, you'll write the corresponding number. So that's number one. Okay, so it's as easy as that. And you'll just go through and do all of your, your colors in your set. And then this way, whenever you go to make a, a drawing, you can reference this and know exactly which, which stick to grab. Okay, that's all for now. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email.